Hello and welcome once again to the PC Security Channel. Today we'll be taking a look at Facebook Ransomware, or FB Locker. That's what I like to call it since I like to avoid lawsuits and as we all know, Facebook's always listening. If you've been following me on Twitter, you already know that I found this sometime yesterday and I think it's interesting enough to deserve a video. Bleeping Computer, I think, made a post about it in their weekly roundup. That's a great source to get your info. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. No, they didn't pay me or sponsor me. I wish they did. But let's take a look at the verse total indicators for this file. So it claims to be service host, uh, as a lot of malware does. Nothing really surprising or new there. Claims to be part of the Windows operating system by Microsoft, but does not have a digital signature, so it's not very convincing in that. Now, when I first discovered it, it was detected by, I think, like seven or eight engines. Right now it's um, in the 20s, so most major vendors seem to have picked up on it. Now, this does seem to be a debug version. There might be a full release later with a few changes, but at the moment, the ransomware seems to be working. Let's just run it on our host system and see what happens. As you can see, the moment it is executed, it covers the whole screen, acts like a screen locker, but it does claim to also encrypt your files. There is a message in both English and Russian. The Russian is just uh, Google Translate, so it's not indicative of whether or not this is made in Russia or anything. I guess it's a cool thing these days to attribute all malware <laughs> ransomware to Russia. So, what happened to my computer? Your important files are encrypted. Many of your documents, photos, blah, blah, blah. Don't waste your time looking for a way to recover. Nobody can... Can I recover your files? No! My name is Mark Zuckerberg, and I have encrypted your files without saving any encryption keys. And by the way, I've actually gone through the code, and that is true. Not the part about him being Mark Zuckerberg, but you get it. I appreciate you executing my program because you've allowed me to ruin more lives. So clearly somebody isn't very happy with Facebook, pretty popular opinion these days, and they decided to create this troll ransomware to ruin people's lives and make them hate Mark Zuckerberg as if you need more reason. But let's see what happens when we reboot the computer because um, that's how we'll be able to take a look at the data because it does not survive reboot, surprisingly. So the screen locker does not pop up after you've executed it once, so it doesn't create a startup item. But as you will see, the damage is done, and our files will be actually encrypted. Let's see. There you go. The extension used is .facebook, and these files cannot be opened, no matter what you do. No keys are saved, so there's really no way to recover these files. There's just really nothing you can do. The author doesn't want ransom, they don't want any money, they just want to troll people and destroy their data. Too bad. And we're seeing a rise of these kind of wiper malware in recent times. There's a lot of these, probably more going to be made. Again, watch out for ransomware, take all the usual precautions, take backups, keep your backups disconnected. Although, I believe this one did not encrypt my shared folder, which is interesting. But yeah, I always recommend also running an up-to-date good AV solution that will protect you from these threats should the worst ever happen. Please like and share the video if you enjoyed it. Consider supporting the channel. A big thank you to my Patreons. Thank you for watching. This is Leo from the PC Security Channel. And as always, stay informed, stay secure.